Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where Gnarly, who got his butt little singed last time, is in the hospital bed after the boomalo went off. George is going to take care of him, and it turns out he did singe his, uh, his new turkey leather pants a little bit, but only by 2%, so he'll be fine. <laughs> and Radar wrote in to inform me that uh, you need a, an operator to make this thing work. <laughs> Ah, oh, now you tell me. Now, did, was there even a hint of that in here? Because I sure didn't come across that. No, no, nothing over here. Work to build. No, no, you just you just have to guess. Okay, well, Faith has uh, volunteered to uh, come over and operate that for us. And let's go ahead and get this going. Diamond wrote in with some ideas for over in here. She's cleaning up right now, so as they start to... Uh, to, to put all this together, we'll start to see you know, a mix of her ideas and mine for out here and see what we can do in here over time. But we need to get all this built, which means we need an awful lot of marble and we have none because we've not brought any down because the closest is over here and the pigs, oh, that's limestone. No wonder that didn't work. All right, you got, no, that's right. We did want some limestone over there too. But we need marble. Marble's all up in here. That's right. Marble's waiting out over here. Hmm. Or we just need to do some more exploratory mining within marble out here. That's That would be helpful. This is all limestone until we get to there. There's some marble. A little grayer look to it. It's more of a browner look. Beige. But uh, everything that I want to explore, which Sea Stars and Shantico are doing like crazy right now, is all limestone, unfortunately. I want to see what's out here at the furthest recesses of the mountain while Boar is pregnant. And I did set a bunch of chop orders, and they, they're all set to plant cut first, so they're just chopping away. Except, Daniel, I'd love to have you continue hauling, so let's redo that. You're over here. Your plank cut, okay, is in front of hauling. I want to get more of the boom loops unloaded. Who do we have left? Uh, the babies are done and Penny is done. So let's move you guys back in. Boom loops, or not boom loops. Um, what do you call them? Down here, muffalos. So Penny can go back to the main pasture and the two calves can. So these three need to be unloaded. And one, two alpacas, three alpacas. I'm thinking all the alpacas are done. I think so. So you're up in... What was that? Gnarly is fully healed. Good. Alpaca 2... Okay, you 4. Head into there. Major break risk. What? Who? Had... Shantigo. What is with Shantigo? Uh, pull out of this. There you are. So Shantigo needs... You've dropped from that line to that line, and and you're feeling you're in a hideous environment. You're going to watch television. Yep, that'll fix everything. You go do that. Um, though I'd love to have you haul something in, but there's nothing to haul. Okay, never mind. Hopefully, you get there in time before you uh, before you break. Um, otherwise, what else has happened? Our white carpet's mostly in. I took this out, thinking that a oh, cooler, that's, that's right, a cooler would be a good thing to put right there. Um, Mount Boris pregnant, little beeps all around me. Build a copy. Here's a way to get some cool air into the building in the summertime. So, all right there, go through a vent over here, or we can open this up wide open. That's possibility. Though this whole thing acts as kind of a of a, uh, yeah, what's that called? A air wind draft, I can't think of the name, but you know what I mean. So opening this up means we open that door and the hallway and everything suddenly goes to outdoor temperature for a little bit. So, hmm, we'll see. Wish that they would just, you know, I could snap my fingers and this would all be done. I'd like to see what it's gonna look like. Still have this guy to build too, but We've been unloading, and not much has happened since last episode, so not much time went by. So we've got Muffalo 8 that can go away. So animals, Muffalo 8, right there. You're now into the main pasture. And anything else with animals that's an issue. 
So Faith now has her squirrel. And there's only one retriever not trained still. Uh, another wild boar is pregnant. Oh, man. Look at all that. Well, all of that. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pregnant wild boars right now. All producing one to three babies. Mm-hmm. Like bunnies. Um, you guys, wild boar, are now here. We apparently had two babies born. And that is it. I think so. We've got, okay, you are now out in the wild boar zone because you can haul all the way to there. And let's not do, well, yeah, let's do the training there. Okay. Well, that's good enough. Otherwise, I think they crashed before I had shifted them over. So this is Muffalo 3 now. Animals, Muffalo... Merat, you're now main pasture. Okay. So they'll fix themselves tomorrow. We still have some go frenzy. Any alpacas in here? Nope. We, we still have a few sleep spots left, so we haven't completely overwhelmed things. You're bringing in marble. Oh, good. Bliss and or radar and or Natalia will have something to do tomorrow. Oh, there's another one coming in. We got the orders to go get the marble. Good. Go Frenzy, David. If inspired, he will walk one and a half times faster. You are quickly not doing any walking. Mm -hmm. Now, the idea came up um, of getting a pathway heading out to the river. But centered from our four doors is kind of out over here. And it doesn't give me anything symmetrical. And we've got to jog over to walk through the river over here. So I'm trying to kind of drift it over a little. So we'll see how that looks. And unfortunately, you know, Diamond has suggested we put a bunch of flower beds out here. And it's all uh, rough granite flooring. I can't, there's almost no, there's one space right there for, for uh, flowers. And I could get some right there. Okay, let's expand that one. Um, zones, floral. Can I go up any? I can. And I can go over. No. This guy right here is taking up a big chunk of what's available. This guy right here took up another big chunk. So, not a lot of room for, for growing. I did put roses in all of these. Figured I put lilies. or I, I guess I have no choice, do I? We have to put lilies in these. Uh, find me one. Right there. Lily and you... Oh, I can choose rose or lily. Okay, I've never clicked on that, I guess. I see. But we'll do the day lilies in all the pots and roses everywhere else. and It'll be uniform. But a uh, dog is pregnant. David is busy using up our marble on the planters instead of the floors. Let's, let's get David to bring any marble he finds over to that area and fill that in. Good. Now, Handy's grabbing components. She slept all day, so her schedule's off. And she is... What is that? Oh, a fire foam popper. Okay. And where was this other one going to go? I got in here and realized that I'd put two of them. I see. It's already been hauled away. So I have no idea where it went. Um, didn't put one in here. Oh, I know. I wanted to get poppers into each of these rooms. So we've got... And that's not those. Okay, where else did I put it? <laughs> not in the fridge. No. Where else would that have made sense? That one was just built. This one had already been there. I don't know. There is one more space in here. I mean, this would make sense. That one's got to be built. So there's a real one, a, a, a second one that got, that one was already there. They got taken to somewhere. Ah, I put one in here. That's where it went. If this ever lit on fire, oh boy, we'd have a. Where are the chicks going? I, I take it we just had a, a batch of chicks hatched. Animals, you guys are up above here. Yep, there you are, and you're all unrestricted. Get back into the kibble zone, dudes. And oh, the chickens! <laughs> kibble, four hundred. We're going to spend all day today making kibble, making up for that. And we're actually getting low on meat. Can you believe it? After all that butchering, there's nothing in here. 
There's nothing in here. There is a bunch of kibble, though. I was going to have kibble stored in here. I was worried, though, I wouldn't have enough room. Um, too bad I can't, say, put a little bit of the kibble in. Slaver. We'll hang around the colony for a while. Oh, so they're walking in. Okay. And look at the uh, the war veils. I wonder if they're actually bringing a slave. Huh. I'll have to wait and see. But Cheetah, or Cheta, Cheetah, is our contact there. We'll, we'll wait and see what they've got going on. Um, kind of waiting for a raid and just kind of watching to see what's going to happen here. And Daniel is sleeping. That's why we've got wood not in here. How are we doing? So we're full there. We're filling here. It is 6 in the morning. We'll probably have this filled by the end of the day. I'm curious, because these are connected and they say 1,000, can I trust that all the extra energy is going into these guys now and not just being partially put into the 1,000 and then it disappears because it wasn't needed because it's connected? I don't know. I feel like disconnecting that to make sure that everything's dumping into these. But I'm pretty sure 4,000 watts isn't enough. Well, it might be with all the generators running. Let's try it. You're going there, and I need somebody right in this area like a Billy, after you take a fine meal, to come over here and do this, so that George doesn't have to walk across the whole world to go and deal with that, wherever he was. George, you're over here. Oh, you were... Yeah, you were going to cook, and then you had to go do that switch, but... Yeah, we've got that handled. Um, so, I want to fill this up, and we are... third one went out. So, Daniel is what I was wondering. Why you're not... You just got up. That's why you're not automatically filling the, uh, the generators. Okay. Tomislav, you're unloading, and I'm thankful for that. But you are set to haul, just like Daniel, kind of temporarily, while Oath Knight is kind of uh, going between cooking and researching but so apparently hauling unloading the animals is more important than loading the uh, the generators I see okay well between uh, Tomislav's got uh, who is this one Buffalo 3 or something yeah you just try to click that Buffalo 3 so if, if Tomislav's got Buffalo 3 that means that Daniel will probably automatically go to putting wood inside the, into the generators. I'm curious to see if that's the next uh, order priority for him. Right there, and he is taking a fine meal. Okay, <laughs> that overrides everything. And he went out here to get it instead of there. That's interesting. Refueling chem fuel generator. But there wasn't a... Interesting. Okay. So one is partially low, so you're going to work on these instead of the one that is completely low. So I guess it's proximity. You go in there to work on this one? That would be the closest one to where you were eating. And you're going to... that one. Because you are... 8.5 out of... and 25. Okay. And now you are this one, 1.1. So I wonder what the what the trigger point is. Here's an 8.5. Let's we'll see if you do it. Otherwise, we've got a 3.2 and a 5.5. So you're going for the 3.2. Look at all the food rolling in. I went ahead and set a little bit of the of the uh, the meat freezer, the meat locker for vegetables because we were overwhelmed over here. And you're going back to this. That's a 5. Kind of curious what the game triggers on you're going up to the top then are you going to hit the 8.5s after that or are you going to go do the wood inquiring minds need to know <laughs> you are oh I want over here now you're at 25 now you are refueling a wood generator okay so 8.5 isn't enough to trigger it now I know Anyway, we're starting to fill this in. Somebody will plant it soon. We'll get the different colors in here. We're not going to be planting flowers for quite a while, I'm guessing, because we still have a lot of food to replant. But we don't need the food. So find me a... Uh, oh, I never got to ask uh, um, Faith how this went. Okay, so Faith, let's have you do this again. 
you are all the way out there because you're on plant cut and that overrides everything but you are harvesting hay grass so apparently you're done plant cutting so come on over here and run this and we'll try to pop in and, and uh, see how that's going but I need a Klaus uh, right there plant cutting I see needs you're not too bad, though. Your joy is really bad. Kaya's next in line for social, if I remember correctly. Handle Warden. George is, and then Kaya. So, 14 and 13. Okay, so George, your mood's even better. Kaya, you're over here. So, George is in the best shape right now to go talk to Cheetah, who is hiding from me. Blue. There is Blue. Cheetah's over here. George, why don't you... George, are you awake? George. Yep. Why don't you come over and talk to Cheetah over here. And let's see what we can come up with. Anybody... If they had slaves, they would be ones without weapons. That'd be a decent guess. They're slavers, but I'm not getting the sense that they have any slaves they're trying to sell. So probably just they'll give... They'll, they'd be willing to buy if we wanted to. Yeah, we'll go with that. And what I'm kicking around here. I've been wanting to do this for the last 20 episodes, and I never think of it till I'm editing. Kaya, let's set you for Hall. No, not Kaya. Alicia. Yeah. Uh, two. Two. Alicia. There you are. Let's set you for Hall. Let's take your plant cut down. Let's take your mine down. Where are you at right now? You're all the way down into there. What are you? You are silver. Let's set you for we're doing that. We may have to go deeper. This is limestone. Let's not go deeper if we don't have to. Alicia, yeah, you're good. Let's let's have you haul. Let's tell somebody to turn this on while we have plenty of power. Uh, right there. Who is nearby? That's right. I need somebody to operate this as well, don't I? No, apparently not. So just the one. Okay. Um, anyway, um, who can flip that switch soon? Bill, you are harvesting. You're going to come over and do this for me. And we're going to have Alicia start emptying these things. Let's get somebody to tear this down. I'm going to do it all on pause because we're going to be trading here in a moment. Diamond is busy cleaning and there's lots of cleaning to do. So I'm going to leave you there. David with his <laughs> red beard <laughs> is sleeping. Um... That could be an Eric, who's busy over here. It could be a Klaus, who is hauling steel. Hauling steel. Hauling Klaus. We're still a little messed up from our trip as far as orders go. No, your hauling is not there. So you're plant cutting, and then you're dropping into construction. So building something out of steel would make sense, but hauling steel is kind of an odd way of saying it. You're hauling it too. You moved it. Oh, you're working on this. Is that what you're doing? Building granite flower pot. And the steel was in the way. Come on over <laughs> and tear these down for me. We're just gonna not gonna Um what's the not gonna open them, we're gonna demolish them completely. As soon as the first one shows up, we're gonna have Alicia start to work the cremator. We're just get rid of all of these old things. You are another vein of silver. So let's oops, grab that and do that and most likely do that. And let's just have you go there next and see what's there. Um he got there. That's George. Okay. We're here. Oh and we can sell pigs. Oh good. Well, yeah, which, what's the plan there? I think we get rid of all the little ones and just utilize the, the ones that are already trained to haul. I think that's the, the safest way to do it. If we want to, we get a good chunk of money out of chickens. Hmm, all those babies? Where are the little babies? Actually, they're not on the list. I mean, I guess that would be, yeah, that would be the chicks there. There were six of them, so there's a total right there. Let's do that. You guys can go away. What do they, they only have 973, though. What do they have to sell us? They have rats to sell us. No, no, no. Let's 
go a little further. They have pemmican, which we could sell them, and uh, some herbal medicines. We don't need those. Oh, and that's it. <sighs> Boy, I was hoping to hmm, get rid of a bunch of stuff, but that 900 is going to go away really fast. All right, well, if we were to go to wild boars, seven of them, females, the ones that can make more babies. Yeah, let's do that. And let's do those. We're at 653. And what else? We have a squirrel. <laughs> we're keeping the squirrel. Um, eight years old. That's ham. Okay, we've got seven. Okay. Do we do that one or do we eat them? Let's do that one. Less mouse. And there's seven more. Now we're too many. Okay, so let's back off to 973. 960. Let's go with that. Um, was that 13? There's no 13s. Okay, we're done. Except. And we didn't buy anything from them. And that's the way it is. Pretty soon. Oh, we got some silver over there. And pretty soon we're going to see the. Uh, the chicken parade. There they go. Everyone that just got sold. They're uh, they're going down to to their new masters. Okay, Claus is tearing this apart. And Alicia, are you still in this area? Alicia, you're kind of right there. Try that again. You are refueling wood fire generator. Nope. You are now going to operate the crematorium. Which means you're going to get yourself a skeleton. And Klaus is freaking out here. So this is probably not going to work. So clear that. You can leave. Needs. You observed a corpse three times. Yeah. I need an Eric to do this. Who is psychopathic. The suffering of others doesn't bother him. He doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied, and imprisoned or sold into slavery so we need this to be a an eric job so you can pop over here what are you doing you're carrying steel to something so you do that do that and do that and it feels like i missed one and already doing that okay that fine and then dare we uncover all of these and get them done and free cut everybody's got to walk through here the whole time alicia will make quick work of it she's just got to walk over and just keep grabbing them Okay, yeah, I guess so. So let's do this. Actually, they're already marked. So after that, Eric, you can... Where did you go? Actually, Radar and Bliss can do this too. Right? Radar, Psychopath, Bliss, Psychopath. Let's set them up real quick for... Radar, for hauling. Hmm... I'll just do one, because I know that he and Bliss have basically the same orders, so I'll remember how to restore everything. You're going to go to hauling, but first, Radar, who doesn't need a meal, good. Why don't you come over here and do these. And then hopefully I'll remember to have you come over and haul them. And that'll get them behind closed doors quick enough. Now, Faith, are you still over here? You're not. What's it going to take to keep Faith over here? What is this job description? Hmm. Would it be construction? Would it be hauling? Would it be crafting? It's a mystery. Like the fact that you need somebody there to begin with. Um, then in that case, let's just get somebody. Rabbit, come over here and run this. Let's see what happens. Good to see we're picking them up as fast as we're, as we're uh, harvesting them. And he's racing through the scene. Look at that. Impressive. Okay, you're doing this. What does that mean? We progress to next lump 2%. 3%. Gold is below. And Rabbit, I'm wondering how quickly he's going to say, I'm out of here. Uh -huh. So we got to 6%. All right. So, who would that be? If I were to set Daniel, who is unloading, still unloading Muffalo 3. Tomislav, you are refueling a wood fire generator. Still doing that. <laughs> now you are hauling potatoes. Okay. Come on over here. We're next to the pig leaven. And 
operate this guy and let's see if hauling is the magic job description because that's what you're set to um where's all that hay coming in from oh we're harvesting hay grass there it is and we're going all different directions with it okay um i think we're done over here good so watching tomislav and animals nope tomislav gave up too so it's not hauling um Animals, I want Muffalo 3, there we go. Now what's changed in here? Wild boars, you're ready to be trained. You got trained, good, you're done. We got rid of, we got rid of the babies. Okay, so that's cleared up all the training issues. Okay, so turkeys are good. We got rid of all the baby hens, or most of them, they're good. And let's go ahead and put our efforts into some puppies who are in the kibble zone. Dog. Ah, you're now trained. Good. So little by little, the animals are being taken care of. Tomasov gave up. All right. Could it be crafting? Vlis is set for crafting, but only after he is set for... Um, let's see, craft. Let's just pop into here. All right, there's Natalia. That's her first number one. She's sleeping? Natalia, she is. How soon? She's basically done I'll, I'll, I'll wake her up you consume a meal then you run this thing let's see if crafting is the uh, is the trigger to, to keep you going that was a minor break risk of Shantigo who does not like being down here hmm I may have well his joy is maxed out I think that uh, a without a table yeah yeah that's always it it is and that's just enough to get him back over his line so come on over and eat a meal and do it up here so you you uh, can sit next to this this great sculpture called White Ridge and make you really happy while you're doing it. Um, Michael doesn't clean. Natalia doesn't clean. Oath Knight, can you pop over here and kind of clean up this area? I'd appreciate it. Good. Thank you. Auto save. Now, what are you? We're waiting for some limestone. Okay. Now, we did ask limestone to be hauled, but it hasn't been done. And I've got Bliss and Radar busy. Radar. Oh, okay. I need you then to... Um, Malicia's taking care of it. Then let's have you pop out and tear these down. Now, these aren't actually used, are they? No, they are. Okay, so let's deconstruct this group we'll tear those out um radar you can do those you're doing what right now you're refueling a generator okay one of those eight percenters tear those down in time for alicia to continue shaman merchant okay we have another merchant rolling in now to run at the river and Run of the river. We have two run of the river coming uh, coming in. Did I miss something here? You are just a single person walking in. A caravan jump to. How come I didn't see you before? <laughs> oh, it's a different map. Ah, I see. So how do I get back there? Gnarly. What you up to? What was I doing before that interrupted me? I have no idea, but you are hauling Mufflo to a leather armchair. Mufflo leather, that is. Okay, and we're, well, we're getting there. Almost got our floor cleaned up. Um, what was I doing? Who was I talking at? I still haven't figured this one out. What is the job description to make somebody stay there all day? Because telling them to doesn't seem to do any good. Breakdown auto door over there not critical um, running out of daytime batteries so we've maxed out these batteries and now we're going to find out if 12 generators and 4 batteries can maintain all of this through the entire night that'll be a good test for us otherwise we've got these guys in and they're on the grid right? no they're not well let's find out get out of there give me that one we're on the grid. Okay. We're powered. We're going through. So all of the 
generators are going up and making their way into these generators which make their way all into this bank of batteries and then out into the base or something like that okay good so that's done and we're slowly getting built up in here was I talking about marble I don't know but Natalia is going to make some more blocks for us and oh, we were working on these so radar just finished that task and Alicia is cleaning up the last of this task that worked out pretty good and Handy's probably been in and out of here a little bit and she's not freaked out uh, Daniel is not anybody else see a bunch of bodies today I would think maybe growers would have been in and out of there but now you've been over here oh, Zerv Corpse three times so we did freak out a few people okay Faith Cathra no Faith, no. So, not too bad. Cyprian, you... No, okay. Um, Alicia is where? Did she grab something neat? Alicia, right there. You did. Nope, you're cremating. Where are you at? You're grabbing bodies over here. Ah, okay. So, once you're done with that, let's get a meal into you. And then 2100 it's probably time to call it a night it probably is we don't get a lot of traffic through here they'll probably take this path over here more likely trade caravan is leaving okay with the hull of our pigs and, and chicks and I'm waiting for the parade to start but are they leaving the other side must be the other ones that were leaving could be that was this one. That one. Come on, give it to me. There you are. Who just said it was leaving? They're not leaving. I don't know. Oh, herd migration. But where? We have three different worlds now. Yeah. Kind of need to unsettle some of these. This is the one that's got slate and sandstone. I don't see us actually ever doing it, though. Probably not. But I don't want to... Never say never, isn't that the... <laughs> we could, though, get rid of this world. We're not coming back here for anything. Let's see what that's all about. Generating planet. And so that would be the, the upper one of the three. So we could toss that one out and see what it does to us. I'm pretty sure it leaves a ruins that we'll never be able to go back into again. This guy right here. So you are going to abandon. This area will become inaccessible and you will not be able to return here ever again. After abandoning your home, you will be able to order one of your caravans to settle in a new area. Boom. All right, so we've just got some ruins there like this base. What is that, an outpost over there? So just some ruins there, and we're no longer able to go into there. So this has some stone if we want it. Otherwise, I don't know, it seems like, it, you know, what I should have done was noticed that uh, terrain, that it had granite and marble. We should have picked one that was like right over here, limestone, sandstone, marble, sandstone, one, two away, limestone, granite, limestone, slate. Hmm. Not as many choices. Limestone, granite. As far as getting two, there we go. A granite, no, a slate and limestone. I want to get limestone and and slate, or uh, sandstone and slate. Anyway, so I should have picked one that had the stones that we wanted. We could have brought stones back with us. I never even thought about checking. I just went two away and called it good enough. I was thinking of components at the time. But now we have one less world up here available to us, and that's fine. So it said traders were going away, but I didn't stop to read it long enough. I just assumed that meant these guys. Odd. Oh well. With that, what is next? We still got those guys over there. All of our buffalo are back where they belong. All of our Alpacas are back where they belong. Batteries, we are done with solar for the day. And we are maintaining. 
wind. We have four wind available. All the trees got taken out. They did. Okay. Nothing is blocked. Blocked by roof. There's a roof somewhere. Hmm. Where you at? One. Oh. Oh, <laughs> no. One little roof that cannot be taken away. Arr. Yeah. I want zone. Uh, re remove roof there. I can't. It's overhead mountain. Okay. So that guy will never work there. Huh. Well, he's going to work some. We're one little space out of all that. So we're partially blocked. But it, you can see it's... Does it tell me how much I'm losing it by? It doesn't. Um, here. Do we have any kind of cover effectiveness? What does that mean? How effective this is when used as cover? Okay. Flammability, construction, skill, beauty, description, value, sell, work to build. Doesn't tell me what that one square is doing to me. There's so many stats in this game, and yet, you, unless there's something that I have to click on to get to it. Uh, hit points. Now, if it could just tell me how many watts that it made. Sell price multiplier. And then gave me the specs on those watts based upon its circumstance. You know, like you get over here, this is why it's worth 245 silver. But you don't get anything about the, uh, you know, the, the wattage, the, the actual power output. Where's that little roof? actual power outage the whole reason you have it is what is the information you don't get drives me nuts so how are we doing on on using this path i notice they were traveling right here and they were traveling over there the pig is still traveling through the pots and through the pots so nothing i can do to make them just walk the path interesting uh david is no longer inspired he is hauling wood to a wooden bed so that means he's getting some of these rooms put together and we do need smoothing down in here. I'm just wondering if I do set some more smoothing orders, if we'll ever see them actually doing it on their own. It takes a long time to, to say, when you're done with that, come over and do that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, 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 that. Because... It was a redundant pathway. Boom, 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 boom. All right, that just looks cleaner now. Okay. Um, and this one. All right, you take care of that. And now we've got all of our turrets in. All the switches are correct. Let's pop into there. So there, there's no blue line when the switch is off. Though there's something going on over here. Oh, it's a smoothing order. Okay. And we've got our, our loop of power down through the whole thing. A little bit over here for some lights. And we're good. The exception being getting some power somewhere so we could hook up a turret if we ever needed to for a bug invasion. But I think we're good. Most we would ever want to do is a turret right here to shoot down into a place. And we have power anywhere we'd want. So it would have to be you know, like right here, open up the doors and shoot into there. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that's good then. Power over here. There could be some advantage to that. Yeah, there would. Let's bring... Oh, that's... I see it's just granite wall there, granite blocks. Okay, let's cancel that. And it's going to end right here. Looks like it is. Um, oh, I see. They built the... Uh... Yeah. Whenever they go back and build the, the cooler... They, uh, I don't have lights in here. They, uh, they, they demolished the, the uh, conduit. Let's grab you. And what do we want here? Build a copy of a light there, there, and there. All the lights are into these. Got our cooler in there. Temperature in here is 27 degrees. Good. Just touching up little details now. We're not doing a whole lot of new growing, though, or new planting. Well, we're getting some over here. We're mostly concentrating on on uh, harvesting. I kind of wish we can get another round of planting in. In fact, it really is kind of important. We're getting toward the end of summer. We need to get that in. Uh, Diamond suggests we put in torches. 
out here instead of lights. So I want to get these done. Then yeah, I kind of like that idea. And we'll have, we'll have permanent haulers now, so we can go ahead and and uh, have them refueled all the time. Let's uninstall. We don't need to tear these down. And we'll get Klaus to do it. Since he's here, consuming a fine meal. It is four in the morning, and you've already slept. Okay, so when you're done, come on over here and do these. Okay, so we've tried crafting. We've tried... We did, right? Natalia, let's just try that one more time. Did you need food? You kind of needed food. All right, never mind. But what profession runs this and doesn't go cranky on me to, to uh, stop doing it? Now, you are marble, so I tried kind of a curved path into here, open up into this area with three rooms, and Diamond was suggested that we separate it by pillars or columns. That might look kind of interesting. So looks like we could get one right in here, and then that splits those spaces right there. So you need to uninstall, and for now, um, what did I do? Let's try that again. You need to reinstall. Let's just pop you over there for the moment. Well, let's reinstall you over here for the moment. We'll think about the wedding chapel over there. Klaus, you are doing all that, then you're going to do this. So I get another pillar in there. We'll just see what that looks like. And then we'll see if we need to do that otherwise in other places. But go ahead and move that one for me just so I can get the symmetry going again. That would be right. Not quite. Three spaces left and two, but that's going to have to do. Three would have looked better, though. It looks better to the diagonals because, yeah. So three there and you there. And you go away, and we're just going to have a, a gap over there. Okay, that works. That got put in, and I take it it got powered. We're at 70 degrees. That's fine. And what's all the noise over here? Gnarly's doing it. Right in there. Okay, getting that all in. Um, we still have marble coming in. Nope, we've kind of finished. Natalia's going to grab the last of the granite, and that's done. So waiting for pigs to continue hauling. And I have no idea if any of these are our pigs, because there are so many of them. There we go. There's 20. But there's lots of marble up in here, so eventually we're going to get that all hauled in. So what else is there to check up on? I need an Alicia to get back to work. That's one thing. You are hauling. Yeah, let's get you cremating. Reserved by radar. Huh. Okay. We can do that, then. It's not bothering him. She only gets a bonus from what? Needs. Was she getting a bonus from hauling those? I don't know. And she kind of needs it. So... Hmm. Let's let Radar get a little bit closer. You're over here. You're doing that. Alright, let's just set you up right now. He's going to drop. He's going to haul rice. Now that is the end of the no, oh, there they are. I knew there were more of them. All right. Well, that's really going to freak somebody out walking through there. But let's deconstruct all of this. Get these done. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Not you. All right. So that is a radar if he's... Now if he needs to eat. So you come on over to here. Grab a meal. And then you can spend the rest of your life <laughs> tearing all of these down. Quarter done. Half done. Yeah, my clicking fingers are starting to protest about now. And we're almost there. It's so stressful. All right. You take care of that. Alicia will spend the rest of the day. It's only 7 in the morning. Good working on uh, cleaning those up. And this block has been sitting here all this time. Can I get someone to just haul it? No empty place. Did I really turn off the limestone from here? Apparently I did because we were over overwhelmed with it. Okay, well let's underwhelm or something like that. You are stone chunks and we'll go ahead and turn limestone back on. In fact, let's just turn, you know, stone 
chunks on. That'll be fine. Now, I need a Shantico Vliss. Where was I? Up here. Shantico, can you do something with that for me? Good. Okay. Um, Sangria has been working like crazy, so we probably have a whole bunch here to clean up. None. And I see Cyprian's been helping out. Good. Alright, those are good. And nothing to check over there. That's all good. You guys are fine. There's Boomalo 5, and we're good. Alright. Anything else important to get done right now? Are we at a good stopping point before a raid drops in on us? It's about the right timing. It is. We're all back. We've gone through the uh, the trip out there. We returned. These guys still haven't left yet. Are these animals going to eat? That's a problem. They don't have food, but we sold them all the animals. You guys need to leave before we uh, have some berserking chickens on our hands. Um, otherwise, Radar was eating. That's right. So he's now... Making his way over. What you doing right now? You are... You did eat. And what were you doing back over here afterward? Hmm. Kind of odd. I don't know that answer. But Vliss is making a cowboy hat. He must have loaded up on a fine meal. Okay. So you're going to do that. Otherwise, we got the popper into here. Good. We got a popper in there and a popper in there. So they're, they're doing the jobs. I went out finding all the little projects that I've set up for them. Oh, we've got some some uh, plantings going on here. we got some red roses going in. Okay, it's starting to get there. Which means we're sowing. Ah, we're sowing again. Good. I'll probably go through after this and set up more people to, to uh, growing. Just to get one solid round of sewing done around the whole place. And once these guys are out of here, I'll set more trees up in there. Yeah. Oh, they're leaving. Okay. So there's the chicken parade. You're going to see chicks falling behind and keeling over from starvation, unfortunately. And the two rats they brought with them are... are right, there's another one where... They brought two rats. I'm only seeing one. We're up there with Weasel. Huh. Well, maybe somebody ate them. Well, I wonder if they're going to freak out when they leave here. Cheetah. You're going to see dead bodies. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Lots of little freakouts right here. Uh-huh. They're going to remember us, all right. So, are we done? asking myself because you can't answer alicia did you you're hauling strange the one the dead wanderer okay so you're off doing something where are you by the way wild boys giving birth you oh we're working over here okay that's what's up so with that i guess i'm going to call this one done I'm not getting a sense of anything else we've talked about that I need to be concentrating on. This is probably something that will be done next time. So give me your thoughts on what's happening here. Um, do we smooth that? I don't know, what do we do to clean this up since we can't put anything here? Can't even put uh, pots there. No, they're all dead for that area. And to make it consistent, I just went too deep through there. This will be all red roses. A little void right there. Some red roses around this. Eh, we'll see. Still don't know what to do yet with the extra statues. This looks pretty good surrounding the entrance. I guess just kind of random places around. And then, need to get seating, need a wedding chapel. I wish I could set things up diagonally, but I can't. So, wedding chapel's going to have to face something. Not sure. Maybe face right here with flowers around it and all the chairs in like that. That could look pretty good. You build copy right there. And you 
build copy there and then a bunch of seating probably real nice seating like these yeah whatever we have the most leather of that will that will clean some things up anyway it's been noble rambler i'm going to call this one down i'll catch you later folks Bye bye